Hello everybody. I uh, wanted to do a video on a WeBoost Drive X, I think, the recent model uh, Trucker's antenna that I modified and installed on the Airstream uh, that allows for a switch operated uh, electronic raising and lowering of the antenna. Um, this video is going to go through how I built the bracket and hopefully give you guys uh, enough information that you'll be able to do it yourself. So the uh, antenna itself uh, had, um, again is from WeBoost and I used all of the uh, hardware except for this lower bracket here uh, which I bought at a hardware store. Uh, I'll give you the dimensions of that bracket. It's made by a company called National. You probably should be able to find it at most uh, hardware stores. Um, the antenna is driven by a linear actuator. I'll provide a link for this. It's not expensive or not super expensive and um, it's weather resistant. The antenna has been on the Airstream roof for now eight months and used almost daily. And as you can see, it's uh, it survived quite well. The bracket itself, um, I bought an L-shaped four inch uh, bracket that I cut down in the middle, I guess I got, and then put them together um, and, and then put in threaded, uh, I guess they're not really screws, just uh, threaded levers, I guess. And uh, uh, three of them. The bottom one is just to keep the bracket together. This one mounts the, uh, uh, the antenna itself, and this one mounts the linear actuator. The linear actuator is connected uh, to the antenna by, uh, this is just a metal, almost like uh, connection tape. Not really tape, but it's a, a metal piece that you could get at a hardware store and cut it. It's pretty thin. I put a little bit of a, a rubber uh, backing underneath it. Um, and then connected the new actuator. Got some nylon washers there, stainless steel uh, uh, hardware, so it does not rust. Similar with this, uh, there's you can see there's uh, nylon washers on either side of this, held together by nuts, locking nuts, and and same with here. So. It, um, it's actually fairly low cost in terms of the hardware that you need. The biggest uh, challenge was buying this L bracket since you can't get it at a normal hardware store since it's four inches. Now, the whole key is uh, with the linear actuator pushes out this thing and uh, this little piston and uh, which causes it to uh, raise and the angle between these two dictates you know how much it raises and the way I set so so the so the the, um, the position of this bolt re relative to this bolt dictates how much how high or how much of an angle uh, the uh, antenna will raise and the way I came up with this was just trial and error I built a uh, I just took a piece of plywood took some screws put it in and then just kept moving the screws until I got a nice uh, um, um, angle 90 degree angle close to 90 degree angle um in the end so it's so it's this screw relative to this uh screw uh relative to this attachment point and i'm going to provide some dimensions for you that i wrote out so that you could see um hopefully you'll be able to see this the bracket is nine inches long the distance between the mounting screw for the antenna and the linear actuator uh, horizontally is four inches. From the bottom, uh, that's from the floor uh, or from the roof to the screw is three and a half inches for the um, antenna and two and a quarter inches for the linear actuator. And this angle seems to work quite well. Um, this, uh, the bracket came four inch by four inch. I cut it down to two and a half inches and put them together uh, to make nine by four by five. The um, bracket, this bracket here, uh, is two and a half inches tall 
uh, one and a half inches wide and then one and three eighths, I guess, uh, for the little uh, tab. Um, I can't remember if it came with holes or I had to put in holes. Um, I think it probably came with holes, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, and the only other distance that, that's useful is between the this bolt here and the top, and that's exactly 14 inches. So um, if you uh, if you get the same exact hardware and you have the same dimensions, this should work for you. You can get this bracket and it's a little bit different uh, in terms of height. Uh, you might need to play with the distance that, of, of these bolts. Uh, the bracket itself is looks like it adds about an inch and three quarters to the uh, to the hardware that the WeBoost antenna came with. Okay, the uh, mounting was simple, 3M tape, just like we do with the solar panels. Uh, we just put strips down, I forget how many, but, um, and then of course filled it with Dicor so that uh, <coughs> water doesn't infiltrate. And this has been through some pretty heavy winds and, and uh, hail and has survived quite well. It's, um, it, uh, I like the elevation for two reasons. Number one, it does allow you to pick up signals if there's any obstructions around you. Number two, it gets you farther away from the uh, WeBoost uh, internal antenna so that there's no interference. Of course, our Airstreams act like uh, Faraday cages. Okay, um, how it was connected. So the antenna comes out of here and dives right into here, which is the um, refrigerator compartment. Similarly with the um, linear actuator power cable comes out. You know, I have some uh, attachment points here so the cables don't flop around and it dives in there. I'll begin here, the wires from the linear actuator and the antenna shoot in here. Uh, we used, I think a rubber grommet if I remember correctly, and then I sealed it with Dicor. Um, the way we ran the cables is we took a, uh, uh, some string, tied some, uh, weighted it down, I think, with some heavier nuts, stuck it in there and dropped it and then kind of wiggled it until it fell through to the um, refrigerator compartment, and which is here. And then we uh, tied the... Uh, uh, up above, tied the string to the wire from the linear actuator and from the antenna and pulled the uh, pulled on the string and pulled the wires down here. So here's here are the wires. I drilled a hole into the compartment below the refrigerator and uh, send the wires through, put this protective coat uh, uh, sheath on there. So in case if it rubs, it's not going to hurt the wires. So that goes in there now. Uh, I think most of the um, Airstream, certainly flying clouds, will have two wires coming out of here. I think they're red and e white um, and will attach to here. Those are, those wires are coming from the 12 volt panel to power the refrigerator because the refrigerator still needs a little bit of electricity even when it's running on propane. So I use those 12 volt wires uh, to power both the WeBoost and the linear actuator and by uh, setting up a combiner box in the compartment below here. And I'll go inside and show you what that looks like. But um, it was a three-way split and of course one of the splits is going to be just a continuation of the 12 volt panel right back to uh, the connection here um, and uh, so that it could power the refrigerator. The rest will be used to power the WeBoost and the linear actuator. So it's very nice because the hole is here, the sheath were here. I just had to uh, replace the wires. Okay, so let's go inside and uh, see what it all looks like. Set up the um we boost underneath the refrigerator in the storage compartment here. Um, works really well. Um, 
Here's the WeBoost. Here's the uh, power source for the WeBoost, which is just a regular plug um, that is um, that that accepts the uh, car lighter connector that the WeBoost comes in. What makes it nice is that you could just take this whole thing out, take it with you in case you need WeBoost for your uh, tow vehicle. And here is the um, switch to raise and lower the antenna. It's automatically in the off position, and then you just hit on down though you have to hold it so um this, there are switches where you hit it and it'll go to the end but um this was what i got okay so kind of look in there that's the combiner box there's the um yellow and sorry uh red and white wire that comes from the um 12 volt panel i used that sent it to the combiner box and created a three-way split the first one is um, this green and uh, black wire, which really should just be yellow and, and uh, sorry, uh, red and white, uh, but I didn't have one, so I used a different color. But this goes right back to where the original white and uh, red wire went, which is to the refrigerator. Uh, the second split is to the car lighter uh, to power the WeBoost, and there's third split is to the switch that uh, uh, I think comes in here and then goes out this way um, and goes shoots up to the roof um, to power the linear actuator. So power comes from there into here. This activates the power and then it sends it uh, up to the antenna. Um, linear actuator which will raise or lower the antenna that is it um, i'll try to provide links to all of these parts um, took about you know a week maybe two to build especially because i had to figure out what the angles are hopefully giving you the dimensions will cut that time um, I do recommend putting in a electrical box for those splits so that you don't have a bunch of uh, connect, connected wires in the compartment. Um, there's just enough room for it there. And uh, it's been great. Um, highly recommended. I work uh, on the road and require a signal that um, uh, that's LTE for uh, video connects. And this has uh, allowed us to camp at many more campsites where I would have had to, uh, um, where I wouldn't just wouldn't be able to get the signal. If you have any questions, post below. I'll do my best to answer them. Take care and good luck.